Everybody, Dixon back here to talk about race one more time. Uh, why not? Uh, I think white America needs to hear it because white America has not changed much. In 100, 200 years, we're still embracing the notions of white supremacy. And that's a fact, white America. So I'm talking to you. So anyhow, the question today is, I had for you guys, and you can talk about it in the comment section. I'd really love to hear your opinion about this. Has things improved racially since the 60s? Because I'm looking at, today I was looking at the, the some images and the news in the 60s, and I, and I, could, God, I couldn't tell much difference between the 60s and today, honestly. There's not a whole lot of difference. When you look at the news in the 60s and today, you know, they were fighting for a few different things, segregation and, and civil rights. But um, what has changed? Has, has white America changed racially? Um, what about the ideology, the culture, and the system of white supremacy? Has it improved? Has it gotten worse? Or has it stayed the same? Did segregation help people of color or did it, did it hurt people of color? Well, you know, in the final analysis, now we have mass incarceration. Now we have um, a white public that nominated an open white supremacist to office and he has this white supremacist administration hate off the charts in america today um you see it because of technology you see crazy amount of hate from white people arresting calling the police on on innocent <laughs> brown and black folks all over america you have the police still lynching people of color in the streets unarmed black and brown folks on the daily being murdered or harassed or arrested for breathing shopping walking driving talking just doing basic shit they're being harassed so have things changed we've got mass incarceration we've got a vice president that's um a Christian supremacist homophobe. We've got this racist white supremacist, openly racist white supremacist president that's a new symbol for white supremacy in the world. Uh, a president who has the most racist, a painting, a portrait painting of Andrew Jackson prominently displayed, displayed in his office, in the Oval Office of Andrew Jackson, his hero. He, he, he said, you know, he likes it. He, he's he loves Andrew Jackson. Andrew Jackson was the most openly fucking bigoted racist of our, probably in all the presidents. He he had the Trail of Tears. He had the Cherokees walk the Trail of Tears. Four thousand innocent natives died. Women, men, and children starved to death because of this ignorant racist. And this is who our fucking racist president has displayed in, in the Oval Office. And then he has the Navajo come and gives them a award directly in front of Andrew Jackson. That's what fucking Trump did. So anyhow, back to, to what I'm talking about. Have things gotten better? We have white America still doing the same thing they did in 1860 and in 1960. And I pray to God they're not doing it in 2060, but they're definitely doing it in 2019. They're doing two things. They're either half of America is busy either spreading hate, spewing hate, and the other half of America is busy dismissing all of it. They can't see color. They can't see. They can't see racism. They can't see white privilege. Oh, but what about black, black privilege or brown privilege? What about that? This is what fucking white America does. They're pretenders. They're deniers. They they dismiss. They're apathetic. So they're either spreading hate or they're pretending not to see it. Just like the fucking movie Bird Box. Oh, I can't see it. When I was watching the movie, I was thinking, what they can't fucking see is racism. They can't see color. They don't give a fuck. The apathy in white America today is as bad as it ever was. Um, you know, the amount of apathy required for the enslavement of Africans to work was incredible. That's what white supremacy was here for, so that the Atlantic slave trade could function. And it's still operating today. This neglected evil that white people have embraced by either spreading it or denying it. Oh, I can't see it. Oh, I can't see it. No, you don't want to fucking see it. There's a difference. You could see it. You know it's there. You don't give a fuck because you were taught to ignore it. That's what our people do, white people. Yeah, I said it, and I've been saying it. I don't give a fuck if you like it. That's the goddamn motherfucking truth. White people have never given a fuck about their brothers and sisters of color. Never given a fuck. They have denied white supremacy from the very first fucking day that it started. And at the same time, the other half of America has been fucking spreading it and spewing it all over the fucking world. So I'm just saying, the question today is, 
and you can leave a comment and talk. Let's talk about it. Has things gotten better? Honestly, tell me your opinion. Or it gotten worse? Or stayed the same? What's your opinion? Let's talk about it. Thanks, everybody, and I appreciate all the comments, except for the ignorant fucking racist one. Thank you.